Everybody, it's Invicta. It's time to eat and run here. The Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Thursday, Mosh Pit. I hope your Thursdays have gone off to a great start. We're still waiting for another video to cross 3,000 likes. And when it does, we will be bringing the like streak back on the screen down below and finishing out the home stretch towards our next goal of, of course, the first rebirth reaction video live stream, which I'll be doing here on YouTube. I'm looking forward to it and uh, it should be a lot of fun. I'll probably end up doing some runs after that. Uh, just just to hang out with the mosh pit. You know how it goes by now. If you haven't seen the YouTube streams, they're a lot of fun. Definitely check it out. Go like the videos and make it happen. Here's your artwork of the day submitted here by Bali Mango 7722 That was rough pencil sketch of the Sinvicta logo. I, I mean, if, again, this is incredible. Uh, they also said, I spent a couple hours sketching this while watching Sinvicta Path of Pain video, and uh, it just I, it, it never ceases to amaze me how talented we have the, the pool of artists and uh, creative people in the mosh pit is absolutely astounding thank you very much bally mango and everyone who upvoted that one seriously I i'm blown away every time i see new artwork like it it's just incredible like it it's very humbling and just all around awesome oh my god what is this tears rate cj is gonna be alpha one mike whiskey one delta yankee four we've got 1.9 tears rate the d twanky uh hive mind and good damage, good movement speed, good shot speed, terrible range, but wow, this this is uh this is not great. Not great at all. Um whenever you start off with sub two tiers, you're in you're in for it. I'm gonna go ahead and push this barrel down to the side here. I don't believe the secret room's here, but we might as well tr might as well test it anyway. Worth a worth a little push. All right, so first item room is going to be Stompy, which we're just going to ignore. Now again, that that's going to uh, that does count as one of those items where people are like, "Oh, there's no downside to it, Zedicta. You should just take it." Uh, actually, there is a downside. You, with Stompy, especially in the late game windows, you uh, or late game uh, floors. I, I say windows because I'm just I'm, I'm I'm thinking of thinking of computers. Um, in the late game, and they also say it on football a lot too. So there's that football. Um, uh, the reason why that I say that there is no, there is a downside to Stompy in particular in the late game floors is because you have to worry about the blood clots. You have to worry about accidentally walking over mushrooms, especially we all know how Repentance loves to give you those bad gas mushrooms whenever you, whenever you disrupt them. Uh, same thing goes for bomb rocks and that sort of stuff. So there you really like, yes, you don't have to worry about needing bombs to go over like rocks or anything or tinted rocks like that anymore but in my opinion it's just not worth it's not worth the danger it's not worth the hassle and uh this is speaking of hassle this is going to be an absolute chore and a half to fight turdlings not only turdlings but like turdlings with 1.90 tears rate and uh turdlings are also terrible to fight too just because of the fact that they do spawn so many dips and the dips the velocity that the dips spawn out at is quite ridiculous Yeah, we we need to we need to take out the dips here. I really wish we had a bomb. Oh, that's just gonna happen. Yeah, we th this is probably the worst set of bosses that we could have we could have drawn here on this on this seed. Other than maybe green champion Duke of Flies. Turdlings are pretty bad. It doesn't also help that they lay creep on the ground that like you just slide around in and you just basically have no traction. So I feel that we are somewhat lucky to escape with only getting hit once in this fight. Um Yeah, we're we're gonna need some help from the from the D Twanky especially. Let's get a regular old HP upgrade. <coughs> Yes, I still have the cough, and it's it, it's been improving though, thankfully. So, um, one bomb would get us pretty far. Uh, I mean, going into the curse room early on here is not necessarily great, but we could take. I mean, I guess we could take Stompy. We could take Leo. I, I call it I call it Stompy, but I, it, it's called Leo. Um, I mean, this is one of the situations where we're going to be forced to taking Leo just because, like, we have no bombs. 
and there's such an obvious like need for a bomb in that room with a with a steel chest and a golden chest that this kind of facilitates it. So they may notice that I haven't picked up anything yet because we have the D20. Um, I'm gonna take one bomb and the nickel and then and the world card and then just re-roll the rest of it. Hope we get another chest or something. We did. <laughs> Very funny game. Uh, secret room should be here. That's the reason why I decided to hold on to the bomb. Okay, we can get into the curse room for free. Well, at the cost of one... At the cost of one bomb. Um, and no, Leo can't go into secret rooms for free. Now, if that was the case, if, if you had the stompy, <coughs> stompy effect, and... Um, if you had the stompy effect and you were able to traverse through... Um, the secret rooms and super secret rooms, then I would actually like legit take it like all the time. We're going to need keys, of course, here. So now me picking up the, the glowing hourglass, it might be a little, a little bit of a curious pickup there. The reason being is the mainly the reason being is because we just picked up Guppy's tail. Now you might be thinking like, well, how is that connected at all? Well, the fact of the matter is that Guppy's tail, ooh, well, let's, we got a crawl space. Guppy's tail is always going to be a liability on a run. However, however, if assuming that we don't get Guppy's eye, which we don't have right now, um, we will be able to at least open chests without really too much of a gamble. And if we end up using a key that we just can't afford to use on a chest that gives us like a trinket or something like that, we can just simply undo it with a glowing hourglass. Use the world card right now just so we avoid going into the wrong wrong uh, areas now I, one thing i could have done and should have done is also taken that pill uh, on the last floor i could have at least taken that pill and seen what the effect was and then if it was bad just undo it because i mean there was no there's nothing wrong with with doing that so that was that was just a an aloof moment one of those invicta aloof moments that uh everyone knows that knows and loves just like you know, not it's just like not using magic or mega mush whenever I got rock bottom or leaving lost soul buddy behind. I mean, look, people are just going to have to deal with the fact that I am not a perfect Isaac player. I wish that like I could be as perfect as the YouTube comments like wish that I was or I guess are. I mean, apparently, apparently everyone who likes to who likes to complain about that stuff is just like the greatest Isaac player of all time. They never make mistakes. Of course, I'm being. I'm being disingenuous, or not disingenuous right now. I'm being uh, incredulous a little bit right now. Dude, this is this tears rate is going to be the death of me again. The every room becomes 10 million times harder whenever we have a a low tears rate, and this is a prime example of that. I really, really, really don't want to use a glowing hourglass charge in this run or in this room, uh, based on the fact that it's most likely going to occur again. For us to get hit. Yeah, so that chest was definitely worth opening because it had a whole butt ton of money in it. We almost got hit there. If I didn't use the 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 chariot car, we were we were cooked. Okay, Rosary is going to give us a much needed tears up. Like, seriously. Uh, yeah, the Swallow Penny's fine. A lot better than the Broken Syringe. And I gotta say that so far, Leo has has proven me proven me wrong. Again, there's no downside. Statistically wise, there's no downside to Leo. <clears throat> it just has, it just has like, it, it's a, it's a gamble to take. Um, man, this is a tough, tough choice here. On one hand, this is a, this is a hugely valuable diplopia in this room right now. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any, there's any scenario where we don't just rip this. Now, do we get three charges of? Yeah, we there, that's a that's a full charge on everything. Um okay. 
So we know this is a justice card. It's definitely worth buying for the key. Justice. Then we know that. Okay. Before we do this. What's the best way I want to I want to go about this here? No, there. I, I'm I'm working through the scenarios in my brain. There's no scenario where using the diplopia in the devil deal outweighs what we get in this in this room here, because we're still gaining we're still gaining the HP that we get from the soul hearts. Plus, we're also gaining an additional item off of our boss. So yeah, there's no there's no scenario where we're using the diplopia in the devil deal is going to be more valuable than what we just did. So, sorry, I had to rethink uh, I had to rethink that a little bit there. All right, so 2 <coughs> 2.78 tier delay is a lot better than uh 1.90 obviously. As uh, we need to still be very cautious about our key usage here. I'm going to use the Empress card now just to give us a little bit of extra movement speed. And we're just going to go ahead and try it again. Because that is unacceptable damage. You should almost never get hit by Widow, ever. Only time you, the only time you get hit by Widow is if you overcommit to a direction before she jumps. And she jumps right on top of you. Or if you just, like, run right into her. So I was expecting her to jump there, and then she didn't. Now goes Widow. Uh, honestly, give me movement speed. Remember, this is this is our movement speed after using the Empress card. It's going to fall back to 1.35. That is a absolute trash tier devil deal. I'm going to actually undo our entrance into that so we get the angel deal uh, preference over that. And then we can take this tower card. And use it to maybe get into the Super Seeker Room, which is north of here. A little bit disappointing there's no pills on this floor. I guess we could, like, go look for one, but... That's Essence. I don't really need that. Bloody Penny. Mm. Bloody Penny might be okay, but it's still, I mean, the Swallow Penny is just as good. It just, it just, it just depends on how much damage we take, so. Take a Troll Bomb there. Okay. That's all I needed to see. I just, I just wanted to play that out. I guess, technically speaking, we should have gone into the Curse Room for one of those charges. Would have probably been, probably been smarter, cause but it's a skinny curse room, so I doubt there's anything in here that we really need or want. And it took us to the devil deal, which then completely ruined our angel deal uh, preference, and that's why you don't go into curse rooms on floor two. All right, so that was pretty cool game. Thanks for thanks for ruining our our genius plan there. And curse the blind. I mean, the the great ironic thing is that even if we had a charge on the glowing hourglass, we still would have been ported. We still would have been teleported into the uh, into the devil deal and ruined our angel deal chances anyway. So. Got speed up. Okay. And we can essentially take blind items and pills here uh, because we have the glowing hourglass. I think we cannot take as a secret room blind item. <clears throat> as we get rocking and rolling on this episode here, go back to last Thursday's question of the episode, which was from the Fire and Lightning 
uh, episode where I simply asked, what is your take on the 120 volt? Again, a lot of people weighing in on this item. A lot of people love the item, of course, although there was some very interesting answers, uh, particularly the most upvoted comment one uh, got me by, uh, got, it got me, it, it, it definitely showed me that this person has been watching me for a while. <laughs> Uh, just because, like, they said the same thing where I... Well, that was a, that was a move and a half there, Spider. Uh, where I... Well, let me read the comments. So, the most upvoted comment came in from DeadPixel915, who said, Makes me too aggressive for my own good, and I am not good. Add Nod Leaf, though. What is love? Baby, don't hurts me. Thank you, Dead Pixel. Wow, just a random tears upgrade. We're absolutely going to take that. Uh, but yeah, so the reason why that reminds me of myself is because that's what I used to say about me going and, to, and using Maw the Void. Uh, Maw the Void used to be, it used to get me into, into more trouble than it was worth. I mean, I know I said I wasn't going to take blind items, but the only way this screws is if this, if this is missing no. Black Lotus. So the odds of that being missing no are very, very small. Um, but it could have been, and that would have been hilarious and also ironic. Uh, we can take the golden pill, I guess. Oh, okay. And I guess cancer. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Okay. It didn't really do much for us, so no reason to undo that. We can still use our... <sighs> so going over to the next question of the episode uh, from last week came in from I'm going to say Zorua Strianism, Stri Strianism uh, who said, I feel like it actually gets a lot less respect than it deserves. It's almost a primary damage source, definitely a strong secondary source. If you have bad tiers, I'd argue it's better than something like Jacob's Ladder. And I wouldn't necessarily agree that it's better. It would be, even in that scenario, it's, I wouldn't necessarily say it's better than Jacob's Ladder. Um, but I will say that I think that I think that the 120 volt is an excellent secondary source of EPS. Um, I don't think anyone's going to argue with the the impact that you can get. I, mean, well, I got another golden bomb. Um, it's just an all around just solid item. But as uh, as Dead Pixel was saying before the dad pun, um, you know it does tend to get you into into trouble, and that's one thing that I sort of have struggled with as well with items like. Uh, 120 volt, and again, historically speaking, traditionally talking about uh, Maw the Void, Sack Dagger, even going all the way back to the Rebirth days with Orbitals, um, it is it is something that you have to be cautious of. Wow, they tried to game us there. I, I don't know what's going on in the game, man. Their AI is making some crazy, crazy plays. Gonna get a Mega Chest here. It's gonna give us a whole whole ton of things here, which I'm fine with. HP, of course, is great. The cancer item, by the way, is going to give us the wafer effect after we take damage. Um, Black Lotus is just going to give us simply a whole bunch of HP. And okie dokie. Um, yeah, no. No duality. And we got the Bible. Well... Maybe we won't. Uh, maybe we won't get taken to the angel deal here. It's still possible for us to have gone into the item room or into the angel deal and not get the item, or and, and gotten the item but not get the, the angel deal. I mean, we could not qualify for, which would be the best case scenario here. We will never know what that other item was. But if you're playing with the seed. If you're playing with the seed of the day, then let it, let us know. It's gonna be fistula. Here's some of the rocks away, just so we can maneuver a little bit better here. 
We don't need to use the hourglass, but I probably will just to make it a little bit easier. I also have a golden bomb, so I should be utilizing that a little bit more because that's going to do way more damage than our tiers currently. There goes Fistula. No problems at all there. We did qualify for the angel deal, unfortunately. We got Cat of Nine Tails, which is a good uh, good damage up. So eh, it could have been worse. Let's go check out the alt path door real quick, just because we've got the ability to check in here. Usually there is a usually there's a ten and rock. This time there's not. All right, but curse the blind. You need to just never come back. And last but not least, on the question of the episode from last week uh, was from Z from Zriox. Zriox11, who just simply said, zap, zap, goodness. Yeah, I mean, 120 volt is, it's always welcome. Um, I think that there is a, there's a legitimate argument to be made that it's one of the po most powerful secondary items, secondary DPS items in the game. You could even call it a carry support. <clears throat> I would call it, a, I would almost call it a carry support. But if given the if given like the the choice between 120 or like tech point five, I would take tech point five every single day. Because <clears throat> tech point five is something that you're always going to be able to use no matter what. I found range down. Gonna undo that range down pill there. Probably shouldn't be wasting our charges on. Um, <clears throat> on simple pills, excuse me a moment. And they're trying to clear the frog out of my throat. Um, yeah, I need to be a little bit more, a little bit more picky on when I use the glowing hourglass here, because we've had multiple scenarios where it would have been useful to have, and we didn't, because I undid like stupid damage or you know one singular pill. Ooh boy, C-section is gonna kill our tears rate again. Even though technically speaking, it doesn't do anything to our tears rate, it does lower the rate of fire. This is this is like Trisagion all over again. It's not a damage down, it just makes you deal less damage. C-section is not a tears down, it just makes you fire less frequently. Um yeah, Glitch Crown, I mean. Glitch Crown is going to be quite useful for us if we can land the timing. And we get our soul heart back. I'm fine with using that key there. Come on, C-section. Seriously. And of course, they would they would go for the bomb that is, is going right towards us. Ha, you can't take that one, Bumbino. Normally, Bumbino charges straight for that, that penny there, but this time, we actually have the ability to deny him of that. Thanks for the penny, nerd. All right, so Tears Up is definitely what we want. Um, I believe that Divorce Papers is a higher Tears rate. There we go. Speaking of sack dagger. Uh, I do want Spirit of the Night just for the flying. We don't we don't care about the uh spectral tears because it obviously just doesn't matter. And uh actually we could take we could take uh, dark matter here as well just for the damage upgrade. Or sack dagger. Let's try that again. There we go. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we got tears and damage up. I'm fine with that. Let's go back and get that half soul heart as well. And uh, mosey on out of here. So Glitch Crown is going to give us that rotating item pedestal that you saw. And if you can get your timing right, you can really profit a lot from it. Um, but you do have to be very cautious when using it. 
Um, particularly speaking, when it comes to chests that drop in the overworld, just be careful because they can automatically make you take those items. What I mean by that is that it will, if you, if you have a chest that's too close to you and it, it has an item in it, then you will accidentally pick it up before even realizing that you've like got an item in the chest. So this is an interesting scenario here. We've got Mysterious Liquid Mulligan and uh, Hurt So Good as well, which is pretty good for C-section. What do we do about this first chest on the left here? Sharp Straw, of course, was the big time player. It has been a big time player for, for a lot of weeks in a row now. Ooh, man, I don't know. We're just a straight damage upgrade or Mulligan. Serious liquid, so good too. We we really can't go wrong with any of these. I'm gonna take just the regular, just glass eye, and then I think hurt so good here is probably the best play, just because if we are gonna take a lot of damage, at least we can get a pretty sizable tears up for the rest of the floor. It's hard to pass up mysterious liquid though. It really is. Twenty minutes. And we're only only on Necropolis one. Yeah. See, so that's one of those scenarios where there is a chest in here that has an item, and I didn't even I I had no idea that there was an item in there, and uh, just was just simply moving, and we end up accidentally taking it. So obviously we want Guppy's collar if we can get it. We do. That's two or three Guppy now. SMB super fan is good here as well. It's going to give us a true all stats up, and we'll go check out the shop, and it's a greed fight. I wouldn't mind him dropping Steam Sale, and he did drop Steam Sale. Um, but he also dropped Member Card. Now, Member Card could be pretty huge because of Glitch Crown. A black candle is there for 36 cents. And we have 34 cents. Okay. So we could definitely get that money. Now, 36 cents for black candle is obviously we're paying more than 2x of what it's actually worth, which is 15 cents. Because that's, I mean, that's usually the only. That's usually what it costs. Um, but it is worth it for us, especially with us having uh, Glitch Crown. It is worth it for us to get just to avoid Curse the Blind. And also any other curses. Especially Curse the XL, of course. We want to absolutely avoid that. But particularly Curse the Blind with, with Glitch Crown is exceedingly dangerous. So even though we're paying out the wazoo for this, it is worth it is worth the cost. get black candida going to bankrupt us right now but we don't have to worry about having a curse anymore we get rid of curse the unknown and uh yeah could have could have been could have been worse that's for sure I feel like we've been, we've been getting hit by just random, random shots a lot more than usual on this run. Nice double key drop there. Again, we do have Guppy's tail. So we need to be extremely cautious with our key usage. Okay. Now we could play the sacrifice room as well. Oh, wow. 
Yeah. We'll take Cricket's head. Now that is going to be a massive damage boost force to have with C-section. And our C-section babies are now going to be doing even more devastating damage when they do eventually reach the target, which is takes a while. And that's another reason why, like, I'm I'm not like super huge on the C-section anymore. <coughs> it's the solid tier effect to be sure. Um, but the lack of tiers, the, the, the tiers down that you basically get from it. I uh, can't yeah, see that would be another another classic case of uh, of glitch crown just instantly giving you the item there. I really wish that they would put a buffer zone in whenever an item spawns and you have like binge eater or glitch crown because like I like I wasn't even trying to do that. Um, I'm just going to go stapler here just for the huge damage upgrade we're going to get from that. It's not huge. Not as big as, like, say, Cricket's head, but, like, it's pretty massive. 1.30 damage up. So we could go play the sack room if we wanted to, and I was going to say we could undo anything that we didn't like in there. However, now, now that we've used our final charge and glowing hourglass, we can't really do that. Um, but we can still probably play it anyway. I mean, we do have the cancer effect, uh, which is going to give us the wafer effect after taking that initial hit, so... And use the hourglass now just to completely new to brownie. And I think honestly, Squeezy's probably best here just because we're going to go play the sacrifice room and we're going to need that HP back, assuming that we don't get um we don't get those soul hearts. So even though Squeezy doesn't really make that much of an impact on our tears rate, that was more for the, the soul hearts after picking it up than anything. Because, like, Binky is just going to do the same thing except give us less soul hearts, right? But having a having a fully having a fully maxed out tears rate, at least the soft cap anyway, for C-section is, is quite good. Of course, there's a host here. Game is on something, man. But obviously, we want to have the Swallow Penny here, just to give us some extra money. We're gonna need it for our stores, especially for the, uh, especially for the, <laughs> especially for the uh, member card. Oh boy! Well, happy Thursday indeed, Mosh Pit. Uh, Parasite, I guess. You're seeing this tears right here. Lots of money. Fifty-seven cents is uh, is quite nice. Now we could, if we really wanted to, we could teleport. I mean, we've got everything we need to destroy this run, right? Like we don't. I mean, we really don't need any other items here to win against Lamb or any other any other boss in the game. Let's just go win. We're going to lose an Eden token, but who cares about Eden tokens? We're also not going to have the Polaroid or the negative, and we don't need that to pass this. Unless, of course, the game just, like, makes us fail four 50-50s. Okay, we got to be careful about... Uh... We got to be careful about walking into these chests here. Now, Brimstone, Brimstone with C-section and Sacred Heart is just hilarious. Hilariously overpowered, that is. And we can even take the wafer here, too. Even though we have the Cancer item, um, I'm, I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. We are so powerful, I'm feeling this. Uh, 
Not sure what hit us over there. I think. But was that a shot from from famine? Or from pestilence that I didn't see? Remember, we don't have one HP. We have technically two hits here. Thanks to the wafer. I mean, I guess I didn't have to take the wafer, but. Oh my gosh, that is just so much damage. Now it goes Mega Stan. Now we don't have to fight Delirium here. Um, I'm going to use the full card to get out, and we're just going to keep on going. We just, you know, we just had to lay the smack down. Of course, you know, with us not trying to go for an Omega run, then we get the Delirium portal after fighting Mega Stan with one and a half HP. But remember, we have the wafers. Uh, it's the, but before you think I'm being reckless there, remember, we had the wafer. So we technically could have gotten hit four times and been fine. Well, that's not true. We could have gotten hit twice and been fine. And with this amount of damage, the likelihood of us getting hit more than once is very, very remote. Because we can just absolutely, absolutely curb stomp the game right now, which is what we're doing. Uncle Holy Water. <coughs> Sizzy! <Yeah. coughs> Little Sissy. I feel like there's not enough items on that chest. I think Glitch Crown forgot to spawn in a couple of the extra items there. Uh... I guess kidney stone, not that it works for brimstone. One stone cancels out the other. Scapular, which is actually huge. Scapular makes it to where we can actually play sacrifice rooms on one HP with the wafer. And then we get Maggie's Faith, which is just going to give us even more HP. Probably one of the very few times that you ever see Mega Satan killed before lamb or anything else uh like i mean a mega satan kill that precedes lamb what i mean it's spin down die Spin that die glitch crown is uh definitely something here i take the orphan socks for the movement speed upgrade plus we also get the uh we also get the soul hearts. And let's just go destroy Lamb real quick here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Second seed, uh, Kilo Alpha Victor 3, Mike Papa November Foxtrot. Oh, man, what an absolute monster run that turned out to be. And uh, we're not even guppy yet. That's the scary thing. The glitch crown, I mean, guppy is pretty much all but guaranteed. Uh, absolutely going to take the compass here. Let's go check out the member shop. Any of you turn into anything good? No, I don't think so. can't tell what turns into the body oh the soul does we get keepers sack too I wonder why the body's only nine cents that seems like that seems sacrilegious almost in a multitude of ways uh No, oh, I didn't want deck of cards. Deck of cards turns into the shovel. Um, I'll leave it alone for now. Let's go over and check out our item room. <clears throat> we can pretty much get an like a an instant uh, full charge. One of those turns into the halo. Common cold turns into halo. 
<clears throat> now, second Sacred Heart, even though that sounds fun, uh, it's actually just a straight up DPS downgrade. Um, so I think we just go for, honestly, just the stapler again. We're not going to be able to get the halo, unfortunately. Um, unless we find another full charge inside of the store. <clears throat> Which I guess we could re-roll for. We can go down to... I'm, I'm not willing to lose this eternal heart, but we can go down to... Uh, we can go down pretty far. There's our there's our full charge for the halo. <clears throat> we can go buy that other full charge. Ooh, Capricorn would also be honestly give me Capricorn. I don't know if Capricorn versus the Halo. I don't know which one is the bigger of the two tiers ups. I go through the uh, cap, but yeah, we'll take it. Already taking everything in there. And we have keeper sack, so we're going to be gaining damage and or we're going to be getting a lot of stuff. Um, going to go red stew just because it's just going to give us an obscene amount of damage, more so than we're already like dealing. And uh, sure, we can go. We can go alt path. Why not? Do a little bit of a little bit of alt path love here. I mean, who can't? Who who can say no to a double sissy? We got two sissies for the price of one? Little sissy. Come on down. Come on down, girl. Uh, first off, we want to take jumper cable. Secondly, we want to get Sackhead here. And I don't want to jinx it or anything, but I'm pretty sure that I've nailed every single glitched crown item pedestal item that I've called so far. I don't think I've missed a single one except for deck of cards. Take speedball. And Lump of Coal is pretty huge here. Almost missed that one. <clears throat> but we are uh this is this is what this is what domination looks like here on many many different levels. No 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 no. We don't we don't lose our Maggie's faith here. I would like to get a couple soul hearts. That would be nice. Oh my god. So uh, we're doing a hundred and sixty five damage per shot now. Oh, no, just a just a casual. Casual three spot. Uh, yeah, we do want birthright as well. We can just go ahead and make that happen real quick here. We, uh, we didn't even get a shot off because our spiders killed Clog. Uh, I am going to take Super Bandage. So we get the Soul Hearts. Now we need we need the money uh, for us to get Birthright. And I don't know where our Secret Room is. We do have this Tinted... We, or we have this Temperance Machine here, which I'm just going to go ahead and play. Or... Okay.
All right, two more cents. We can we can do two more cents. Somewhere, some way, we can find two cents on this level. Those are some, those are some disco babies right there. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, I didn't mean to take that. I meant to take meat, but here we are. All right, we have enough for birth right now. The reason why we want birthright is because of obviously glitch crown. We get three items that are from random pools. Um, that might make it even more nutty here. But we could get crown and light. I'm gonna. I'm still gonna stick with the birthright play though. Or deep pockets. All right. Well, it would it would stand to reason that of course the the. The one time that we set up a big time play, I would miss it. We are losing a lot of uh, losing a lot of valuable time here with our with our red stew. But we're about to make up for it. Unless of course I can't fire because our tears rate is so terrible. Bro. Oh my god. That was thirty that was thirty-five cents. map is ideal here. Do not want spin down die and car battery. Birth of a rune, might as well, might as well hold on to it. I can use it in the shop because we can't really afford anything. <laughs> just, just instant death. Go get Mr. Dolly, and eh, I'm gonna be honest. Item room's too far away for me. I know, I know. There's a dice room over there too, but eh, I can't be bothered. Cardio coin here. Our red stew buff has already uh, has already faded away, and we're still doing 126 damage at the base value. Which, I mean, you don't need to be a mathematician scientist to know that that's a uh, that's a lot of damage. Get double cardio coin in here too. Continuum is just going to make this into a visual doo-doo nightmare. And we are absolutely going to be taking it. I mean, hey, at least you have pretty rainbow colors to look at, you know? But uh, the fact that C-section is going to persist for, I mean, just perpetually is uh, going to be something else. Oh, wow. I didn't mean to take that, but... All right. I guess we have card reading now. We, Isaac was like kind of like sliding in there. It was weird. Yeah, we need to go get our item room or our uh, our last knife piece first. Go back and do that real quick because that's the whole point of us going alt path here. But uh, man, what an absolute beast mode run of a run! We didn't need to take the mine cart in here, but we might as well have a little bit of fun. Uh, is it me or did we just walk over that rock? Even though we don't have flying. Also, Isaac, you're looking a little bit more pasty white than usual. Not sure if I'm down with his haircut. Your hair looks like my hair right now. My hair is 
My, my hair is rough, man. I still have not cut my hair. I know that I talked about it a couple of uh, almost weeks ago now. I haven't cut my hair yet. It's getting getting uncomfortably long. I'm going to wait for her to go back this way and then we'll do this whole whole routine again. This is a very weird room. I don't think I've seen this. This configuration of the puzzle is uh, unique. Oh, I don't know about that one game. That one feels a little generous there, ref. Okay, now I'm just on tilt. The eternal flies on the white poop are just the absolute worst. This is one of the this is one of the most involved leather runs I I can I think I've seen in a while. <clears throat> After all that, we still only have six keys here. Well, that was a haunted chest, apparently. Emperor card, okay. We can use that for uh, corpse. We're gonna take consolation prize. It's gonna give us a little bit of a tears up. And there is our guppy item. really don't need any of these to be honest I mean I guess I'll take backstabber no you not want Ipecac knockback tears would be funny Got the red portal here to the Gehana. Wow, that is, I didn't even get to see like the boss. Oh my God, that is Eden Mascara. Um, okay. Okay, let's see what this, let's see what this brimstone looks like. Yeah, that's uh, its air damage is pretty good. Go ahead and back that out so I can see what's going on here. Take a tiny planet. Let's see what this tier looks like. All right. Okie dokie. Guess we can go into the shop. Might as well. Take a blanket, just uh, there's a little bit. You know, you, you, you never, you can never have enough protection. You know what I mean? Got to be, you got to be careful with these end game bosses. You just never know what repentance is going to do to you. And uh, yeah, item room is going to take us. Oh my! God. Item room is going to take us pretty much right to the boss. And uh, yeah, I think. Uh, I think we're going to be okay on this run. Something tells me that we are going to be all right. I'm going to take the negative just for a little bit of damage up. We definitely need to do more damage. Um, 
What is Libra going to do to this? Let's find out. Yeah. Should probably put an epilepsy warning on this video. I mean, I don't have to fire like this, but it is pretty to see the colors. And uh, to those of you watching this at night, late night, laying back in bed and all the lights are off, uh, good morning. <laughs> this might be the new most powerful run that we have seen. This is... This is just leaps and bounds more than anything that we've seen in quite a while. I mean, this is just... How do you describe a run like this to someone who's never seen Isaac before? No, 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 no. So, Lazarus, you need to... Hit me. You, you gave us the soul Lazarus right as we were zoning out of there. Yeah, you're not going to see a... Like, you're not going to see another boss for the rest of this run. I guess we'll take Host Hat here. And uh, we really don't need anything out of this. So... going to go ahead and head on down here, but uh, yeah... I think that's going to set us up for today's question of the episode, everybody. Um, oh, wow. We can... We... If we can get out of corpse... If we can get out of the mother fight, there's a sacrifice room here. make it possible for in a weird way the most weirdest way possible we have a chance for an Omega run but we would need to somehow get out of the mother fight oh I thought that was, I thought that was gonna be it that was a ticket out now was this a teleport or no? That was the telepills was on the last the last run. All right, I'm willing to let it. I, I'm just gonna say if this is a telepills, then it was meant to be. If not, then it's not. <laughs> it was already almost an hour long. Let's see. Well, this might be the fastest mother kill you've ever seen, or you've ever not seen. Yeah, she's already dead. That is a one shot on mother. Experimental pill. Honestly, I think I'm okay with that. So today's question of the episode is going to be, is this the most powerful run that we've ever had? Post it in the comments down below and uh, weigh in on your thoughts. If you can think of a more powerful run that we've had than this one, please let me know. Because I And also, if you can bonus points if you can provide the episode number, because I'd love to go back and see that. But man, that is an insane amount of damage we're doing. What a run to kick off this Thursday, everybody. If this one doesn't get 3,000 likes... I don't know what will because, man, that was incredibly powerful and fun as well. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Picasso, Zombie Fingers, and Ravenwolf45. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta.